Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So I've actually been playing through Luigi's Mansion 3 for the second time. Yes, I'm actually getting to a second playthrough of the game. Um, and I'm still enjoying it. And again, not as much as I did the first time, but still a very good game. And I was wondering when this DLC would be announced. And obviously in Monday's video, I actually said that the uh, DLC for Luigi's Mansion 3 would be re re released next April. And uh, it seems like I was right. So it's kind of funny how that kind of worked out. Like literally two days ago, I made this prediction and now it came true. So it's nice that I got that uploaded before this got announced or else that would have been really, really awkward. So let's talk about what Luigi's Mansion 3 DLC we are getting and what we could get in the future. So this DLC pack is being split into two parts. So let's go over part one, which has been revealed, and part two is still kind of a mystery, but again, we'll cover part two later. Part one, as you see here, um, features three new Luigi costumes. One is Luigi as like an Elvis Presley lookalike, except his hair is a lot bigger, uh, but you can tell it's obviously inspired from Elvis Presley. Um, and the one behind him on the left is a Luigi in a knight uh, shining armor. And um, you can see on the right is Luigi in a mummy costume. Um, if I were to pick my favorite of the costumes, it's definitely Luigi in the mummy costume because it's actually kind of spooky. It's actually Halloween themed. And then if you look on the left, you see three kind of things. Um, now these are all basically the uh, Screen Park mini games that you're, you're going to get. Now it's hard to kind of tell what exactly is what. Um, but on the left, it seems like you do something with fruit and they all kind of have like a volleyball shape to them. So my guess is that you're throwing fruit across a room over like some sort of net to each other and then you're trying to catch the fruit in your poltergeist by sucking it in. And I'm guessing if the fruit drops, something bad happens. Then in the middle, um, it seems that we're dealing more with those uh, rubber ducky floaties. Now, as you guys know how much I hate those. Um, but nevertheless, it seems like you're going to be riding one of those, moving up a stream or down a stream. Um, I'm presuming you're going to try and avoid that waterfall at the bottom there. And then at the very top right, we see um, what looks like Twisted Sweets. Um, you know, that's kind of the theme I'm getting here. It's because, I mean, the hat and the dice and the red kind of looks like Twisted Sweets a little bit. And it seems like a game where you have to run to different panels to avoid being shocked. Um, now, this one's the one I can really tell the least out of, um, based on the image, but nevertheless, it looks pretty cool. So let's look at the main page here that talks about the Luigi Mansion 3 DLC, which says, Luigi Mansion 3 Multiplayer Pack DLC arrives in 2020. The Luigi Mansion 3 Multiplayer Pack can be pre-purchased now in the Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. Part 1 will arrive by April 30th, 2020. Part 1 includes three new minigames for the multiplayer screen park mode, six new themed ghosts, three new outfits for Luigi, and three new floor themes in co-op Scarescraper mode. Part 2 will arrive by J July 31st, 2020 with additional content and features for both screen park and Scarescraper modes. And of course, it is $9.99 and you get a, uh, a little pre-game bonus, or a little in-game bonus, excuse me, uh, with a Polterpup flashlight thing called Flashlight Type P, so that is pretty cool. And um, it seems like this is an immediate thing. So when you buy the DLC, you immediately get that Polterpup flashlight. So that's pretty cool. So we obviously saw the three new mini games for the screen park mode. But what about the floor tile styles for Scarescraper mode? Well, look at the Luigi costumes. It kind of gives it away a little bit. Um, the Knight costume Luigi obviously comes with a Castle McFrights themed floor. The Elvis Luigi obviously comes with a dance hall themed floor. And the Mummy Luigi obviously comes with a Tomb Suites themed floor. Um, so obviously they seem to be going off of floors that actually are in the game. And that will lead to a point I'm going to talk to with DLC Pack 2. But we're still on DLC Pack 1. Um, so what's cool about it is I'm looking at the images and they really are themed off of um, the areas in which they, um, you know, they represent. Um, I think the dance hall area looks the coolest in my opinion just because of the neon lights and the environment in the area. 
And um, yeah, it just looks really, really cool. Something I'm hoping, specifically for fours like uh, like the uh, like the tomb suites area, is that um, obviously we see the mummy in the tomb suites area, um, and so we're obviously gonna be fighting against the mummies. But I wonder if they'll also keep the theme of like the the, the actual tomb suites floor in there. Like for example, I wonder if there'll be rooms filled with sand that you have to like clear, or if there will be puzzles like there were in tomb suites. I wonder if there's going to be anything like that in this, and uh, I think that'd be really, really cool if there was. There are two main concerns that I have with this DLC, though, at least for me. One, with the Luigi in the costumes. Like, you, you see in the pictures that it, every single Luigi is wearing the costumes that represents the, the floor that the costumes are in. I wonder if you're actually going to have any choice when it comes to choosing your costume. Like, I wonder if you're going to be able to choose what kind of costume you want to wear before you go into the game. Or are you restricted to the... Like, for example, if you want to play regular Scare Scraper, you're regular Luigi. If you want to do Tomb Sweets uh, Scare Scraper, then you're uh, Mummy Luigi. I wonder if you can mix and match costumes with areas. If you can wear the Mummy Luigi in the regular Scare Scraper, or the Night Luigi in the uh, Dance Hall area. I wonder if you can mix and match. I think not letting players be able to do that is relatively limiting. It, it makes you feel like you're, like, I don't know, it, it just limits the options of how you can play. You know, you can choose what kind of flashlight you have, but you can't choose what kind of costume you wear. Like, you know, that, that, to me, that's a little bit eh. And my other main concern is, obviously it says, six new themed ghosts. So this I'm wondering, so okay, so it's six new themed ghosts, so is it just two new types of the three main common ghosts that we see in the rare ghost category? So is it two new variety of the goobs, two more of the hammer, and two more of this of the oozer? Like, to me, that's not that amazing, in my personal opinion. You're just redoing the textures on the ghosts and just giving them a new functionality. I think it would have been cool if you actually designed new ghosts. Bring new design ghosts to Luigi's Mansion 3 and have that in the pack. Because, I don't know, I'm getting tired of fighting the goobs, the hammers, and the and the uh, oozers. I'm kind of getting tired of those three. I want new ghosts. I want more variety. This is something, obviously, I've complained about for a long time, so this is nothing new. But, the lack of variety in the common ghosts, to me, is really destroying this game. Not making it so it's, oh, I hate it. But it's kind of destroying the game's charm to me. That there's not much variety in the kinds of comic ghosts that there are. Seeing the precedent of the first two games set, seeing the third game drop that ball is relatively disappointing in my opinion. So if you go to the eShop page, you can see here that there actually is the actual did kind of tease the second part of this DLC pack. Now, it's kind of easy to speculate what some of those are. On the left, obviously, I think the costume that Luigi's wearing is some sort of safari co costume, and the floor that would accompany that costume is the Garden Suites themed floor. And on the right, I think that's the pirate themed costume, because it kind of looks like a pirate hat to me that he's wearing, and that would accompany a spectral cat themed floor. The middle costume is kind of confusing me a little bit. Um, though, it does look like that hat on Luigi's head is a top hat, so I personally think that that is a Magician Luigi outfit, and that will accompany a Twisted Sweets themed area. But since t Twisted Sweets is my favorite floor, I am all down for a Twisted Sweets uh, themed scarescraper. And um, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, and, and given that that pack comes with the first pack, um, and they're all together for 10 bucks, I think it's a decent deal. Having six new screen park modes, six new scarescraper modes, 12 new ghosts in total, and uh, six new Luigi costumes, I think that's a pretty cool deal altogether. My main hope for this DLC, though, is they actually work on different ghost designs. I, I, I think that's my main thing. Actually make unique ghost designs rather than just reskinning the ones you already have because of how few there are. Like, at, like just do, make new designs, or at least do reskins of the two we haven't seen reskins of yet, being the, the Trapper and the Slinker. At least do something with them. If not, then make new common ghosts. Just do something. Heck, I'd even be okay, and I'd probably actually prefer, if you brought back ghosts from the previous games, both Luigi's Mansions 1 and 2, and done those up, and make something special out of those, I think that would be awesome, and probably it probably wouldn't require much work, since I'm presuming files are already there for those kinds of ghosts. You just need to touch them up for, you know, the Nintendo Switch, and to, you know, to look good. Um... Yeah, to me, this DLC pack is cool. Um, I'm probably gonna get it. To me, what sucks, though, is that Scarescraper seemed kind of bare bones to begin with. So now they're charging us money to actually kind of fill up the mode. 
But I'm still gonna buy it. I'm still excited for the mode. I just hope they do more with the ghosts. And I hope that the floors are actually, like, themed really well. And actually go along with the floors that were in the story mode. And aren't just skins of those floors, if you get what I mean. Alright guys, so that will do it for today's video. Like, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Make sure to uh, check out my Discord as well. Um, that's where we were talking a lot about this DLC. A lot of speculation is going on. So check out the Discord. Also on Saturday, well not this Saturday, next Saturday, I'll be doing my Luigi's Mansion 4 live stream. Um, definitely go and check that out when it happens, and yeah. So until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.